I want to look for Sophia. We're going to stay here until we find her. Everything OK with her? I think she might be one of us. What do I scare you? I don't know. You just do. Everybody can't be bad. They need us. And we'll die without us. You need to know how to fight. We're strong enough that we can still help people. If you care, you do something. Welcome to Not Bro Nation. Welcome back. Hey guys, today we're here to give our final predictions video oh my God. for The Walking Dead before the mid-season premiere. It is back, people. It is on Sunday. We cannot wait to also see it and also pick up our reviews again. Yeah, I know. Right? We enjoy it's going to feel weird actually doing a show review. Yeah. We haven't done one since, you know, The Walking Dead. Yeah. <laughs> It's going to be sweet. And it'll be nice to swing into Fear the Walking Dead after oh, this yeah. is over. So can't wait for that. Uh, but guys, what do, you know, let's let's start. What do, what is going to happen in this mid-season premiere? Well, from the uh, the videos that we've posted up that you hopefully you guys have seen our our death predictions, our kind of our over our thoughts and stuff. Um, now this is just the premiere. Yeah, this is we're just doing the premiere. Yep. Okay. Uh premiere. Yeah. <laughs> we we know that this is the last episode of carl yeah um it's gonna be very emotional yep it's gonna kind of probably be kind of a, a slowed down episode they might it might pick up later towards the end to kind of help build for the for the final battle the start of the war um <clears throat> but i think we're gonna see some some really emotional things and then some other uh things the plan is starting to you know to be taken i wouldn't say taken out but uh Rick and crew are going to be planning what they're supposed to be doing, I think. But they got to get out. They got to get out of the sewer first. Yeah. Finish up Alexandria, um, and kind of start from there. Yeah, it's going to be very, very emotional. Like you were saying, I'm almost thinking that half. This is an extended episode, I believe. Yeah, eighty something minutes. That's with com minutes. That's I with think. commercials. Yeah. Um, so I think it's going to be heavily about obviously Carl and his last moments with his father and Michonne. Mm -hmm. um, the letter, I hope, gets revealed. Yeah. yeah. Um, I hope we get to see Rick reading the letter mm -hmm. after Carl passes. Um, I'm I'm actually excited to see how they're going to do the Carl death scene. Yeah, here's here's the biggest question that I've been... I brought up to you this before off camera a couple days ago, and um, I'll bring it up to you guys to comment as well. Who do you think is going to end Carl? Put down Carl. The put down animated. Yeah, Carl. put down Carl. Who yeah. do you think once either they wait for him to turn, or Carl says no, I don't want to turn. Take me out now. Who will do it? Um, I I'll give you mine. Okay. From how I think is okay. From Carl having to put down. His mom. I'm really thinking that Rick will do it. Yeah. I you know, I know that some people might think that's too much for him, that maybe Michonne would do it, or he'd ask Daryl to do it, but I really think Rick will do it. Now, yeah. do I do I think that they're gonna wait for Carl to actually turn? Because yeah. time frames vary from how long it takes to turn. Mm -hmm. Or do you think Carl would be like, no, look, I'm almost there. I'm, I don't want to turn. Just do it now. He's, I don't. You no, know. Rick's not going to do that. I don't think I, they would do that no, either. I, I don't. <laughs> they think, would wait for him to yeah, turn. Yeah, he, definitely wait for him to pass. Maybe not turn. Like pa yeah, to wake up. Right. At, but but knowing that he's going. Yeah. yeah. But I think it's going to be really. Um, <laughs> tough question. It is. Well, no, it's going to be Rick. I I agree. Um, the only other person that it would be would be Michonne. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of between those two. Yeah. Um, it's uh, it's well, or it could be the both of them, both hand on the knife. In a, in a sad kind of way, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I just thinking about that is is tough. It's it is. Tough. It is. Um, just because Rick has, this is the one reason why Rick has 
uh, made it this far in the in the post-apocalyptic world and that is to keep his son alive and now here it's happening yeah um, it's gonna be very emotional like we said um, I, I'm just wondering how they're gonna mix it up like are they going to uh, start the episode with um, the aftermath of Alexandria being burned to the ground and then f- sprinkle in the moments of Carl? Is it going to open up with Rick basically reading the note and then it flashing back to the Carl death scene? And then as he flashes forward to reading the note, it shows him enacting the plans after Carl's death. Um, It's going to be really interesting how they structure the episode. I'm having a feeling that how we're going to begin this episode because of the the severity of what's happening with Carl, um, you know, losing a big character. I'm thinking they're going to go right back into the Pick sewer. Pick up where they left I off. think they're going to go back to the sewer of him, kind of the little bit aftershot of them, him showing that he's bit, and they're going to show Michonne and Rick there. Then they're going to show the others that know that what's going on, you know, maybe, you know, we've seen those shots of, of Rick holding Judith. And then he, and then we also see shots of Daryl holding Judith. Yeah. So I think we're gonna pick up in the suit, pick up in Maybe the sewer. Maybe not though. Maybe we might even pick up at a flashback of Carl preparing, because we do have preparing the shots. The letter. Oh, it shows him in the mirror lifting. Yeah, it up. yeah. Because we do have the shots of him lifting up his shirt, revealing the bite, um, in in a, a in the lighted ha- area. It, well, it's in he's in, it's a, in his it's house. It's in his house. Yeah. Um, and I think that's probably like right when he got back from saving from Sadiq. saving Sadiq. Yeah. 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 So I think that's exactly where we might pick up the episode is him just preparing. He'll reveal the bite. May show writing more of the letter He'll again. Start preparing his yeah. final moments, mm-hmm. um, and then maybe we'll get flashed into the back of the story. Scene. Yeah, that could be. I think I think it's going to start like that. Yeah. Something like it that. Makes Light sense with Carl, and then do some jumping around like you said and then we'll get to the plans we'll get to the death scene and then a shot of rick afterwards either tears in his eyes let's, or just vengeance yeah, look in his let's, eyes let's uh we'll, we'll talk one more thing about the death okay wouldn't it be a slap in the face if we didn't actually get the death scene <laughs> you know what i'm saying like we yeah. see him pass but we don't get the put down you know if that happened i would be fine with it honestly you, though <laughs> if it happened well i would if it happened i would have to be fine with it i would like to see well, yeah. it but if if it if they didn't want to shock us viewers to really wanting to see that knowing it's going to happen i'd be fine with it because I, we know it's we know what's happened yeah, yeah i would almost think that they would have to because then they'd be dealing with with another glenn under the dumpster scene like carl's not truly dead he's gonna pop up and save everyone at the last moment what i what i what i kind of just vision in my mind right now and i'm not a cinematographer i'm not like a director or anything <laughs> but like I, it would show like michonne and rick by the side of carl and then they would start panning the camera outwards and then wherever they're at, that's what we see. You know, they're about to do it, and the camera just <clears throat> keeps panning out. It's got the sad music. And we kind of, to the viewers, we know they're doing it. And we don't want to see it. Yeah. They're not allowing us to see it. But, well, you and, know. And we know he makes it out of the sewer. So yeah, yeah. Um, it'll be very interesting to see where that takes place. Like in Alexandria, in the house. Um the somewhere house is in burning Ale- down in one shot. Somewhere in Alexandria that's yeah. not either on the outside, maybe over by the graves of Abraham yeah. and um, Glenn. That's at Oh, that's a hilltop. That's a hilltop. Never mind. Um, and that's another yeah. thing that I was going to go into next is are we going to jump around to the other parts of the story? Um, or is this seriously going to be an entire episode dedicated to Alexandria and the aftermath right. of, of the Battle of Alexandria? Because from the, cause from the, the premiere trailer... And also from the other shots, the the remainder of season eight, you know, we see them coming back, everyone coming back to Hilltop. Yeah. Um, well, not everyone, yeah. but we and see we know you know, the, the majority scene. of them. Yeah, and we know from the sewer scene that the last battle is going to be at the Hilltop. Yeah. So will they all, you know, we, we get to finish up Alexandria, and then at the end of the episode, everybody's back at Hilltop, probably minus Rick and Michonne, because I think they're going to be going to the Heapsters or somewhere else, you know, doing their plan. Who knows? But, um, man, yeah, I, I honestly, for the premiere, I, I don't think we're going to, 
We'll see some things. I think it's you just going to be Carl heavy. Yeah, and I'm there. There's a shot in the trailer of Rick. It's the end of the trailer, and Rick's talking on a walkie-talkie to Negan. Hmm. Supposedly I, Negan, but probably I think yeah. it is. Yeah, yeah, and I think it's the same. He's wearing the same clothing that he was wearing in the sewer. Mm -hmm. They're in the forest because they're probably making their way to the hilltop. Yeah. So I'm almost wondering if Rick has a communication with Negan while they're on the run because Negan knows that they're on the loose and he's looking for them too. Right. And this is where Negan finds out that Carl's dead. Yeah. Cause we hear in the trailer that Negan is like, you know, they're out there, you know, so we got to go find them in a sense. <sighs> yeah. I don't know when, I don't know when, I don't know. I don't know when Negan would find out. I don't think it would be till later. Yeah. Till he's in the prison. <laughs> it's going to happen <laughs> yeah i think we're, um, but anyway you know we're we're obviously going to get a carl heavy episode um and then i think towards the end we might end the episode with king ezekiel maybe and breaking him loose in his current situation away from garrett yeah and there out. was a sneak peek um yeah it was did, with, you, did uh, you happen to see yeah that? it was with garrett and uh ezekiel yeah, that was very interesting. Very interesting. You know, Garrett. Uh, I, like we said before, I think you know we mentioned in our, our death predictions. I, I think we mentioned he might die, but we did. Um, but he, he from that sneak peek. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. I'll put a link in the description for it. It's on AMC's website. Um, he's he's very empathetic. You know, he, he and he's always been that he, way. He's, he's like I. He's like I really liked you, Ezekiel, because you got it. He was like, you got it. He was kind of being an ass. He was being an too. ass. I mean, he was he was basically saying, I liked you because you were doing what you were told. Yeah. And not try to fight back. But it, it I kind of saw it both ways. It's like, okay, you got it. Yes, you did what we were told. But you understood, in a sense, what it meant to just be there, be alive, and survive. I think that's kind of what he was saying. But, yeah, and he basically you know, threatened him, too. Negan's going to kill you. Yeah. And, and I hate that because I liked you. Yeah. Um, and then he says, why'd you have to do that? Mm -hmm. uh, Ezekiel said, you know, I've garnered my people to safety. Yep. Um, there's, there's nothing more that I can do. Uh, basically, if I have to die, I have to die. Um, I made a choice. Yeah. And then he turns to Garrett and says, now you have the same choice. You have to make yours or something like that. You know, yeah. basically saying, look, I'm giving you an opportunity to switch sides here and come with me, I mm -hmm. think is basically what he's saying. Yeah. You got to make your choice now. What do you want to do? That's that's interesting. Kind of goosebumps there. Yeah. Because so like, will he do it? Will he not? I don't know. And I'm thinking that's maybe how the episode might end. Yeah. Cool. What do you think, guys? Yeah. Let us know because we're, as you know, we're excited for this to come back. Um, so many open-ended questions, but for the premiere itself, you know, like we said, it's just going to be Carl-heavy, emotional. I think we'll get some jump, flash-forward, flash-back scenes, mm -hmm. some plans, but I don't think this episode is going to have too much action because it's going to wait till the latter yeah, parts of the and of I the don't season. even think we may, we may not even see Negan in this episode. It might be just Alexandria, just the aftermath of the battle, Yeah, maybe going to Ezekiel. I can't see them going to the hilltop just yet. No, so, uh, not this and, and we might even see now that I'm just thinking of this is Dwight making his way back to the sanctuary because he's got to deal with a situation that he left off in the episode where one of the saviors, the girl with the tattoo, spotted him, mm -hmm. knows that he is on this the survivor's side. Right. He's got to make it back to the sanctuary to continue. To play both, and I wouldn't say play both sides, mole. but be the mole. He's got to get back there um, so they won't suspect so him either. I think we'll dead. see that scene in this episode. I cool. think we will see that. We'll see him basically hunt her down. I think he's going to go after her. He's got to because yeah. if he doesn't, then he's he's going to be caught. But there are some inklings too that maybe I, I just kind of have a feeling that I think, I don't know if Simon is kind of catching on. If he kind of gets, Simon seems like he has a little bit of inkling, like some weird like whenever I see Simon looking at Dwight and interacting with him, well, you know, before that, he, he kind of seems like Simon's kind of catching on, like something's up with Dwight. You know what I mean? Like he's kind of thinking about it. He doesn't know for sure, but I, I kind of get this feeling that Simon might know. Yeah. And they might have some interaction with each other. And I don't know, because at that one part of the trailer where you saw um, Dwight and Simon standing together, where I think I mentioned, I think that's maybe where they're having a, a deep conversation and maybe Simon's like, so 
<laughs> How you been doing? Doing this whole Trevor <laughs> thing? No. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. yeah. Guys, definitely let us know what you think is going to happen in the season premiere. Uh, I can't wait to see the episode. I cannot wait to see the after the episode because there's always a big event going on after the premieres. Yep. So uh, stay tuned for that after the episode airs. Yep. And uh, stay tuned for our review because we record Monday and Thursday nights. So we will be posting quite early. Well, I wouldn't say very early, but our normal time is on Tuesday morning. We can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be wait. sweet. So stay tuned for that, guys. Let us know in the comments your thoughts of how you think the season premiere will go and the remainder of uh, Season 8B because it's The Walking Dead. It's awesome. It's back. <laughs> it's back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you next time. We're not Grow Nation. We're, We're out. out.